สวัสดีครับวันนี้ก็ขอสรุปการถแถลงข่าวเป็นภาษาอังกฤษเช่นเช่นเคยนะครับเพื่อประโยชน์ของผู้ชมทั่วโลกนะครับเพื่อผู้ชมทั่วโลกจะได้ทราบถึงความพยายามของภาครัฐความร่วมมือกับภาคส่วนต่างๆแล้วก็ความร่วมมือที่ได้มาจากพี่น้องประชาชนชาวไทยเพื่อจะแก้ไขปัญหาโควิดนะครับ Good afternoon. Today is April the 9th, Thursday, April the 9th. I'd like to summarize the press briefing that we have today at the Center for COVID Situation Administration, or CCSA. This morning, the Prime Minister called a meeting of the center, of the CCSA center, with all the ministers and uh, high-ranking senior officials from all ministries uh, involved uh, via video conference. During this meeting, the Council of Ministers We're also briefed on the latest update of COVID situation and the various measures introduced to remedy the situation, including the various regulations for inbound and outbound travel of Thai and foreign nationals, the current status of quarantine centers nationwide, and the serviceability of hospitals and medical supplies uh, issue as well. The committee also discussed challenges and the ultimate goal to increase effectiveness in handling the situation. The Prime Minister during the meeting also highlighted the importance of coordination among stakeholders, the communication with the general public ahead of the measures announced, the management of information and on adequate resources, emphasizing the effectiveness of arrival and screening passengers in accordance with public health guidelines and state quarantine measures. The Prime Minister also emphasized uh, about the curfew, the compliance to the curfew, and asks everyone to respect the curfew and refrain from leaving home if not necessary, and so that there will be no need for additional curfew restrictions. Also highlighted at the meeting this morning was about the healthcare and early detection system of uh, Thailand, uh, the fatality rate among the infected. Uh, which stands low compared to other countries. Also highlighted was the issue about the budget that the government has allocated for economic stimulus packages in line with policies introduced by other countries around the world and which is introduced only after rigorous consideration and extensive research. Today, the, excuse me, yesterday afternoon, the Prime Minister also visited uh, one state quarantine site at Patra Hotel on Rama 9 Road in Bangkok, and he thanked the owners uh, for uh, providing the hotel as a venue for state quarantine. The important issue that I would like to inform, which has already been circulated in the uh, news as of yesterday, and is, it is quite important for the foreign community in Thailand, is As, as alerted uh, a few days earlier, following the cabinet's approval, the Ministry, Ministry of Interior issued a notification on April the 7th, 2020, granting permission to foreign, foreign residents residing in Thailand an automatic visa extension. Please note that the current measures under this notification are valid until the 30th of April, 2020, and further updates can be found at the Immigration Bureau's website, immigration.go.th. The measures under the current notification entail the following. Number one, holders of resident visas who normally reside in Thailand but are currently abroad and required to return to Thailand within a year of departure will be granted extension of their compulsory return deadline. They are required to return to Thailand once the situation improves. Number two, foreign nationals whose visas have expired on the 26th of March, 2020, or thereafter, will have their visas automatically extended to the 30th of April, 2020. There is no need to apply for a visa extension at the immigration offices for this period, and they will not be fined 500 baht per day. When the situation returns to normal, they are required to file for visa extensions as soon as possible. Number three, foreign nationals who are due 90-day 90 90 reports between the 26th of March to the 30th of April are temporarily exempted from reporting in this period until further notice. And number four, those with border passes shall be permitted to remain in the kingdom 
for now and will be required to depart within seven days of the reopening of border cr crossing points. And once again, please be advised to follow announcements regarding immigration measures closely for any updates. Turning to the general situation in Thailand, the numbers today we have for new confirmed cases is 54, making the total number of confirmed cases 2,423. New recoveries, uh, we have a total now accumulated of 940 recoveries. The two new fatalities, making the fatality 32. The two new fatalities uh, today, the information we have now is, uh, the first case is a 74-year-old uh, French uh, national who experienced uh, fever, uh, symptoms of uh, cough, and had to use a respirator and this is in Chonburi province. The second fatality case is a, an 82-year-old Thai national with fever of 38.5, and he had to use a respirator. This is in Samut Prakan province. For the number of cases nationwide, the top uh, cities or provinces in Thailand remain. The first is Bangkok, the second is Patani province, and the third is equally between Chonburi, Patum Thani, and Phuket. And if you recall, yesterday we reported on the active search testing procedures held in Phuket province. Various provinces in Thailand have announced uh, measures for their particular provinces. For example, Chonburi province has restricted, restricted travel to and from the province itself from the 9th of April for 21 days and Bung Khan province has done the same, restricted travel to and from the province from the 7th of April for 30 days. For the enforcement of curfew, we have 1,204 uh, arrests of violators of the curfew, and for the searches of uh, breach cases, we have 29,000 persons searched and 22,000 vehicles searched uh, who are uh, uh, violating the curfew. The next issue is about the repatriation of Thai nationals abroad, wherein the main message of the briefing was that Thailand, of course, welcomes its nationals uh, back to Thailand according to the uh, proper procedures and health screening process, which will be strictly applied to all flights and for entry into the state quarantine process in designated uh, sites. There, are, there remains many Thai uh, citizens in need of repatriation back, and we reaffirm that all Thai nationals abroad who need to return will be assisted in their return. We encourage all Thai nationals to contact uh, the Thai embassies if not already done, and we remind uh, for the uh, cooperation uh, upon return to enter the subsequent quarantine, state quarantine uh, process. Right now, the capacity is 200 persons uh, entry by air. The state quarantine capacity, however, will be increased uh, to reach 3,500 rooms for local quarantine and an additional 13,000, uh, a site for 13,000 persons uh, provided by various state agencies uh, is in the pipeline. The next issue is about the medicine, Favid Pilamir, wherein 1,800,000 tablets have already been imported into the country, so there is no shortage for that. The average use is around 70 tablets per patient. For the N95 masks, today there is another 200,000 imports of uh, N95 masks into the country, wherein the priority will be for hospitals and patients. The spokesperson also briefed on the reuse of N95 masks, N95 masks which actually are most appropriate for medical personnel. The reuse procedure for medical use of N95 is through UVC uh, ray heating of 70 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes, and this will allow the reuse of the masks for at least four times. The translation of the 
press uh, briefing that you hear every day is, of course, a semi-live uh, translation. But of course, some words we have to repeat quite often to the general public. We know it by heart already that people should rest restrain from going outside unless necessary, wash hands often, wear face masks or face shields in public, and keep contact with others to the minimum to avoid uh, transmission of uh, COVID or possible transmission of COVID to the elderly, to uh, different persons, your family members, and the like. And of course, in this situation, uh, most all of us are actually in the vulnerable uh, group. So this is all I have for the summary translation of the press conference. Uh, just in closing, of course, we should continue to help one another, providing moral support to one another, as well as for psychological support, physical health, exercising is important when you stay home. We continue to monitor the situation. We continue to provide the general public with a systematic uh, type of information uh, in a composed manner, composed but cautious, cautious and compliant. So therefore, if the conveniences are on the way down, unfortunately, we would have to sacrifice that uh, normal, usual convenience but however, we hope for compliance to go up according to the, all the measures announced by the government. Thank you very much for your attention and thank you very much for your cooperation. This is what I have for today. Thank you very much. Stay safe from the Center for COVID Situation Administration or CCSA. Thank you very much and Sawadee Krap.